Hi, I'm Ben from Cadit. This video takes just a couple of minutes to tour you through some of the interesting and significant enhancements that we've introduced to Project CAD Professional 2009 design software. Important changes like a smoother, faster, more reliable drawing interface to work in that includes little changes like the menu icons that you see here now as well as a right mouse click context sensitive menu depending on whether uh, entities have been pre-selected or not. Some of you have asked about double click text editing that's available now in Project Ed Professional uh, as well as the visualization of the sheet size in the layout or paper space. Now I know some of you have asked about being able to do that like you can in AutoCAD Lite. With Project CAD Professional 2009 we also uh, visualize the sheet size now independent of what the border size is or what our viewports are and so forth. So if we go to the uh, print setup and uh, we change the sheet size that we have configured for example in our fictitious HP 750 that we have here um, we'll change it from an A3, make it a little bigger, make it an A2, and we click apply to layout, the, the layout will update according to what the printer is configured to, um, and we don't depend on a visualization with a border anymore or something like this. Uh, another feature, well, Project CAD has always supported rendering, but with Project CAD Professional 2009, we support multiple rendering in multiple uh, viewport. For example, here, we have, uh, we'll put a full render in this view. And in this viewport, we'll put a hide. We can also do this with ASIS solids. Um, the solid modeling um, that's supported in Project CAD as well. So it works really, um, really nice for presentation and so forth. But um, something that's uh, very handy for a lot of us uh, will be the data extraction from blocks. And so now there's an improved um, add-on, it's under tools actually, data extraction, where we select a block or entities, we can select the whole drawing, and it, this wizard will walk us through exporting that data into a spreadsheet, for example, a CSV format or text file. So we can use it in a bill of materials and so forth. But the uh, Google Earth add-on has, uh, has me really interested probably because I don't know Google Earth that well myself. You probably know how to use Google Earth better than I do, but just a little introduction in this function from Project CAD uh, uses a default uh, longitude and latitude from a little, a nice cute little town in Northern Italy called Como. Um, and uh, we just uh, select whatever uh, uh, units and um, other settings that we want to orient the, the model, the drawing to, and we just save it using this interface. So make sure you have the right units, otherwise you'll have a humongous building in the Alps. Uh, for this drawing, I think the drawing units were actually inches, configured to be inches. Uh, we select a location to save the file to and click OK. And when we go to Google Earth, and I'll try to work my way around this program, uh, here we are now in uh, in Australia, that's where I am, and we just go to File, Open, and open that uh, KMZ, uh, that Google Earth model that we had exported from Project CAD, and it's going to add it um, to our places that we have in the toolbar here. And if we select that model and just tour it, it'll bring us right to where that uh, la longitude and latitude were, were configured from Project CAD. Now the Italian police probably wouldn't appreciate me putting my building in the middle of their, their thoroughfare. Uh, I'll have to ask Damiano where a better place to put the building is, but you probably get the idea how this works. So we just export um, all the geometry from Project CAD directly into, into Google Earth now. There's lots of other features and enhancements that have been given into Project CAD Professional 2009. I really encourage you just to download it from CADIT, for example, or another reseller. By CADIT, you just click the blue globe on the home page, and uh, it'll ask you where you want to save the, um, the download file to, and you can run it for 30 days without, uh, without buying a license. Uh, when you do decide to buy Project CAD, uh, we have the online store. Um, we also offer support in the online forum, where if you have uh, questions or problems, uh, feel free to drop us a line here, log in, 
and uh, post your problem and hopefully we have an answer for you. And I uh, thank you very much for taking just these couple of minutes to hear about our uh, new enhancements and uh, changes that we've given to the um, robust but affordable ProjectCAD product. Thanks.